This is an interactive video. If you don't have a partner and something to show your strategies, pause the video and then we'll start. Hello, today we are going to learn how to become excellent problem solvers with a strategy called Three Reads. Now, meet my co-host, Bob. Hey everybody! When we read a word problem, we should read it three times. That's right! Each time it's for a different purpose. First, read the problem for context. What's going on in the problem? What's the situation? Second, read the problem to understand the quantities and their relationships. Find the important numbers or words that represent numbers. What can you count or measure? Third, read the problem to figure out the mathematical question. Make a plan. What question or questions do you need to answer? Are there any special directions you need to follow? Brainstorm strategies for solving the problem. It's time to work with your partner and practice three reads. First, read the problem for context. A candy store in the mall sold 127 pounds of candy on Friday, and they sold 184 pounds of candy on Saturday. If they sold 400 pounds of candy that weekend, how much did they sell on Sunday? What's going on in the problem? What's the situation? Pause the video and talk to your partner. Second, read the problem to understand the quantities and their relationships. A candy store in the mall sold 127 pounds of candy on Friday, and they sold 184 pounds of candy on Saturday. If they sold 400 pounds of candy that weekend, how much did they sell on Sunday? Find the important numbers or words that represent numbers. What can you count or measure? Pause the video and discuss it with your partner. Third, read the problem to figure out the mathematical question or questions and make a plan. A candy store in the mall sold 127 pounds of candy on Friday, and they sold 184 pounds of candy on Saturday. If they sold 400 pounds of candy that weekend, how much did they sell on Sunday? What question or questions do you need to answer? Are there any special directions you need to follow? Brainstorm strategies for solving the problem. Pause the video and solve this problem with your partner. Did you find the solution? If you said they sold 89 pounds on Sunday, you and your partner figured it out. Let's try another one. First, read the problem for context. Julie saved a lot of money raking leaves this fall. She spent $68 of it on a new pair of boots and $56 of it on a laser tag robot to make her brother jealous. If she started with $250, how much does she have left to put in savings? What's going on in the problem? What's the situation? Pause the video and talk to your partner. Second, read the problem to understand the quantities and their relationships. Julie saved a lot of money raking leaves this fall. She spent $68 of it on a new pair of boots and $56 of it on a laser tag robot to make her brother jealous. If she started with $250, how much does she have left to put in savings? Find the important numbers or words that represent numbers. What can you count or measure? Pause the video and discuss it with your partner. Third, read the problem to figure out the mathematical question or questions and make a plan. Julie saved a lot of money raking leaves this fall. She spent $68 of it on a new pair of boots and $56 of it on a laser tag robot to make her brother jealous. If she started with $250, how much does she have left to put in savings? What question or questions do you need to answer? Are there any special directions you need to follow? 
brainstorm strategies for solving the problem. Pause the video and solve this problem with your partner. Did you find the solution? If you said Julie has $126 to put in her savings, you and your partner figured it out. Now it's time to put this strategy to the test. Remember, the next time you read a word problem, do three reads. reads. First, read the problem for context. What's going on in the problem? What's the situation? Second, read the problem to understand the quantities and their relationships. Find the important numbers or words that represent numbers. What can you count or measure? Third, read the problem to figure out the mathematical question. Make a plan. What question or questions do you need to answer? Are there any special directions you need to follow? Brainstorm strategies for solving the problem. Now go out into the world and be great problem solvers. Thanks for watching Whimsical Teacher Tube. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Teachers, look in the description for this linked product. Created using Powtoon.